What is up you guys, it is Sam here, and today I'm going to teach you how to install shaders for Minecraft 1.7.2 on your Mac. Here we go. So the first thing you want to do is head to the description and open up the four links I have for you. The first one is to a forum thread for shaders. It will take you down to this post, click this link to download shaders. The next link is the Forge Downloads page. Head to 1.7.2-latest and click the Installer link. Then the next link is for the Chroma Hills Texture Pack, which is recommended for shaders. Head down to this link right here, 1.06, use only for 1.7, 128 by 128, click Download Zip. And then head to the Optifine Downloads link and click the most recent version of Optifine HD Ultra for Minecraft 1.7.2. In this case, it's HDU B7, click the mirror link. So I'm just going to minimize that. So in the end, you should have four files. One is a .zip and the rest are .jar files. Now let's open up our finder window. Head to go, click go to folder, and make sure this is in the go to folder field. Just copy and paste that from the description below and click go. Go to Application Support, Minecraft. Now these are the files you want to save. You want to save your stats file, your servers.dat file, your resource packs file, and of course, your saves file, and your options.txt. Then select everything else and click Move to Trash. Leave this window open. Let's open up our Minecraft application. Enter in your username and password, then click play. Once that is done, click quit game. Make sure to also quit your Minecraft application. Then select all of your files that we just dragged to the desktop, your stats file, your options.txt file, your service.dat file, your saves file, and your resource packs file. Now, I have been told many times that some people do not have a servers.dat file. That is okay. If you do not have one of the files that I told you to drag to the desktop, that is fine. So drag them all back into the Minecraft folder, click apply to all, then click replace. Now reopen your Minecraft application, click new profile, name it 1.7.2, use version release 1.7.2, and click save profile. Then select it and click play. Once that is done, click quit game. Then click on your forge.jar, click open. Click install client, then click OK. Once you get a success notification, click OK. Now let's open up our Minecraft application once again. Under Profile, click Forge, Play as Existing User, then click Play. Then click Quit Game. So in your Minecraft folder, you have this brand new folder here called Mods. So these, these are the files you want to drag to the Mods folder. Let's just drag our Forge.jar here to the trash. You want to drag your Shaders.jar here to the Mods folder and your Optifine.jar here to the Mods folder. And then in the resource packs folder, drag the chroma hills.zip file in there. Now let's open up our Minecraft application. Make sure it is on the Forge profile, then click play. Now go into options, shaders, select internal. Now for shader packs, I'm not going to teach you how to install specific shader packs because some work and some do not work. That is for you to experiment because I don't want to tell you to install something that doesn't work. So that is for you to experiment. So I'm just going to select the internal one for now. I'm going to go to resource packs. I'm going to throw in the Chroma Hills pack. I'm going to click done. Once that is complete, click done. Go on creative mode and I'm going to click create new world. Now remember, you do not have to use the Chroma Hills Texture Pack. This is just something that I like using, or I'm sorry, it is just something that is recommended, and I do enjoy using the Chroma Hills Texture Pack, but it is just something that is recommended by the developers of the mod. You can always switch back to the regular, to the default resource pack at any 
time, of course. Alright guys, so that is how you install shaders for Minecraft 1.7.2 on your Mac with some Optifine in there as well. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave a comment below. I will happily, happily answer it. Also, if you are new to the channel and you want to subscribe for more gaming, tech, tutorials, and reviews, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you really enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below as well. Alright guys, thank you all so much for watching. I am Sam, and I'm signing off.